All right, I have my Alpine Alex W650. I'm gonna try to do a soft a firmware update. Uh, I got two USBs. I tried one yesterday and it didn't work. I don't know if that USB was bad or if this just didn't like it. So first thing to do is plug in. Oh, let's go to, to go to settings. You can't get to it unless you're in the emergency brake, which is kind of annoying. Now I'll pull the emergency brake. Still not there. There we go. You got really crank it up. So you can see my system version is 1.008 underscore 0405. The new one has a 9 in there somewhere. All right, I thought I should clarify where you get this. So I'll have this link in the description. You just go to this site and just, you know, make sure it's the newer version. Uh, so it says I'll fix the XM, SXM list and all this stuff up here, right? So essentially here's your instructions and here's the software. When you download it, you'll get a folder like this and here will be your instructions. Uh, so, you know, make sure you leave the vehicle running. Uh, do not mess with any buttons while it's updating. <laughs> Don't drive, of course. Format the flash drive in FAT32. I did do that. It says you can't use uh, these other NTFS or XFAT. Uh, I don't know if they'll work or not. And it says this one's key is to just put the folder. So you'll get a zip file like this. And then unzip that to have just the folder on the disk. Uh, this screenshot is bad because... So yeah, it's saying copy the unzipped folder instead of showing these files, which makes no sense. So you want the folder, not the, just the individual files uh, when you do the update. Not the zip file, but the unzipped folder there. And then nothing else on the disk, right? And then you just plug that into USB and then click on the setup information. And we'll, I'll show this part in the video. First thing you do is plug in your USB drive to uh, this one. This is the core going to the back of the Alpine. I don't normally have it here. This is just me testing some stuff out. So initially it's going to try to read the USB, which is the music player. I don't want that to happen. We want to go to firmware upgrade. Can I find firmware? That's what I did yesterday. That's why I'm running a backup. Let's try it again. There we go. Finally got one of them to work. So it's going pretty fast. The USB itself is just flashing red, which is what it should do. Let's activate it. All right, now we're going to reboot. I do find the Alpine to be a little slow rebooting. And I got all this. Oh, yeah, it did say after you did a reboot to do a factory reset. Which isn't really a big deal because all it's going to do is reset my radio stations and I'll use that. So now I'm on a version 1.009064. So I am. I'm going to remove the USB. I'm going to go back to the system. And information. 
no. Uh, system. And then go to reset. And I want to do a factory reset. Did a factory reset. Just gonna go back to English. I gotta set my time again. <coughs> That's the radio. Uh, again, I don't use the radio, so. Yeah, yeah one of the top private 49 a month, or how about a 2019 Nissan Rogue for only 189 a month? And backed by popular demand, purchase any new or pre owned vehicle from. Alright, so let's go to setup. I can't do a stupid thing you can. I mean, you really gotta crank that emergency brake. This is a Jeep Wrangler, 2016 Jeep Wrangler. All right, let me adjust my clock, 9.32. I wish this would be set by GPS or by the Android Auto, that'd be a lot better. All right, now we're just gonna make sure Android Auto still works. Plug my cord back in. And I'm recording this on my Note 9, so I'm going to use my new T-Mobile Revel, Revelry Plus. And there you go, recognizes it right off the bat. And knows I'm going to Planet Fitness, so I'm a workout beast. Alright, so I'm going to just uh, run this for a little bit, make sure nothing major goes wrong, and then I'll be going. I don't think there's any other changes. Everything else looks pretty normal. I don't expect there to be any changes. <laughs> it's just supposed to fix some Bluetooth issues and some random things. I didn't have necessarily any problems. Uh, I thought the screen's a little dim or a little faded, but that's not going to be fixed by firmware update. Alright, I'll check them out. So I've uh, been driving around with this. It's been working fine. Uh, there's no... I've been driving around. It's been fine. There's been no glitches or errors or anything. I mean, it's only, you know, 30 minutes of testing. But at least immediately afterward, there's no major problems with the update itself. Nothing's crashing on the head unit. No problems. Uh, so it's, it looks pretty good to me.